Yesterday, when I was riding in the car, with, when we were all riding in the car with Pat, I mentioned this foundation that was expensive to me, the Hourglass, and that it was too light and I couldn't wear it. And I said that we were going to do a video on, see if I can figure out a way that I can use it. I pulled out this Scott Barnes Multimedia, and it's got a lot of pigment in it. See, it's oil and pigment. I'm going to scrape off some of this, and Pat's going to bang the trash cans outside the window because I just let him know that I was filming. And he says, okay, you do good. So he's fully aware that I'm filming and still making noise right outside my window. All right, I'm gonna take some multimedia and I'm gonna add that. And let's see if I can make a, a foundation that's, there's what I have on there. And I'm gonna mix it all together. I know, this is nothing revolutionary. I'm just seeing if I had like the magical combination in the drawer all the time and wasn't wasn't using it. Okay, let's let's see what color it comes out. The sun went behind the clouds and I can't see. I I need this light. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss. And I do have a little bit of makeup around my eyes because I'm being careful to not be too vigorous in that area so that so it can recover. Well, it's really a mess under there. So I'm going to take the Garnier. So I'm a little late starting this video. Pat it ordered a frame and a mattress for Patrick for when he comes to stay with us a couple of months this winter. He has a short off season where he doesn't have to be on the boat. So he comes and stays with us. And it would be silly for him to rent an apartment or you know, for the short amount of time that he's not living on the boat. So, we're fixing him up a bedroom. I'm giving up my, you know how I said I had a room that I used for staging my kit and I had extra backup supplies in there? Well, I had to, I didn't have to, but I did empty the closet and the dresser and the there's a real old sewing machine cabinet, it's antique, that I use to store stuff. Anyway, I emptied all of that this morning so we could fix him up a little, a little bedroom so he could have privacy when he comes to stay. Last year he just slept on the sofa because we didn't know, he didn't know how long he was gonna stay he thought it was just gonna be like a couple of weeks. Based on last year, we decided that we would go ahead and fix him up the bedroom. All right, that is pretty good. I'm gonna cut this light off so we can see the true colors. I don't know what happened to the sun. So that's an option, right, to mix those. We'll see how it settles. Again, I'm not going to do a, I found a lip pencil when I was cleaning up. It's uh, from Urban Decay and it's called Gash. And it was in a plastic bag because it had lost its lid. Hmm. There may be other issues with it too. Like the, the lid is being silly. The it's like the product has shrunk away from the pencil. All right, that's the color it is. Kind of a warmish red, maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it not having a lid. Anybody have any suggestions? 
I know I can take the lid off the spoolie end of a that doesn't fit on there. That works. I found a lid. Let's do some brows. I like this. Baby I'm a Star from this palette. Let's do brows with that. Are we watching the fan? Ooh, the foundation is way too light, isn't it? Look at that. It's still too light, right? We'll warm it up with uh, bronzer. Let's do a brow, a brow brush, an angled brow brush. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush and put some brows on. Like I said, I like to add some in the front because my eyebrows are too far apart. Today while I was organizing, I came across a picture from probably 20 years ago when I was hefty, hefty, hefty. And my, I was work, just, I guess I had too much on my plate to spend very much time on my looks and it was obvious. Before this video is over, I'll go, I'll go get that picture. It's horrible. The thing that stands out to me is the, how far apart my brows are. I wonder if, I wonder if I did that to myself or they just fell out. I'm betting I did it to myself, don't you? Some Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And then that was the color Baby I'm a Star from Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette that came out years ago. I painted my fingernails this morning with my new fingernail polish and then I started on an organizing organization job and goofed them up. I don't know whether I'm going to redo them or wear them goofed up for a couple of days. I threw a bunch of, bunch of stuff away. Some of the stuff that I was going to give away I went ahead and threw away because I didn't want to have to put my hands on it again and make a decision about it again. I just wanted it handled, you know? So some of it was the drugstore makeup. Just threw it away. I had it in a bag to give it away. And then I decided that I wasn't going to deal with that. Let's do the under eye concealer. Pardon, I just remember something. I have to make a phone call. So I had a hair, this is what the deal was. I had a hair appointment. It was in the near future. I had somebody that wanted me to do something for them. So to be awesome, to be a generous, nice person, I canceled, I moved my hair appointment so that I could do the favor for the person that requested the favor. And the person canceled. So, on my to-do list today was to call the hair salon back and see if that appointment was still available. And it was not. Anyway, that'll teach me. If I have something scheduled and somebody needs something, I'm just going to say I'm booked. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I am already a cynical person, but I'm real quick to give people the benefit of the doubt, but that's all changing. I'm, I'm getting more, more cynical. This is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in the color light, and I'm warming up my face from that foundation. So yeah, our trash can and our recycle bin were stuffed from all the 
organizing I've been doing. And there's a pile of stuff in the garage that's nice enough to sell, but I don't want to I don't want to mess with people. So we're going to drop that off at Goodwill because I can't bring myself to put it in the trash can. I should just put it in the trash can. It's really nice stuff. So it's some designer jeans and there's a pair of white seven jeans. I think they're like a size 27 and some Dolce Vita booties. You have to pay for the shipping now. I'm not paying for the shipping, but if anybody wants it. All right. So warmed up my face. That's better, isn't it? Already. And I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind under my eyes. Did I do that on camera? Or was I on the phone when I did that? This is an e.l.f. brush. This is a nice brush. It's flawless concealer brush. I like it. Alright, I'm going to get the stuff I bought yesterday. So that soap that was a funny, funny color that I said I would put in the boys' bathroom because, because it had a green tinge and their walls are green. It, it only smells all right. It doesn't smell like marshmallows. I don't, anyway, I don't know why she had a problem with it. But anyway, it doesn't smell all that. So that's not one of my favorite ones of the soaps that I bought at the I'll, I'll link that video right here at Bath and Body Works. This is my Becca. What is it called? And it tastes like, or it smells like bubblegum maybe. Hydrolyte Plumping Lip Balm in the color Spray. Yeah. So there's that. And then here's my pencil, Stoned Vibes. And my pencil color is High Vibes. I'm going to put that on the outside corner of my eye. My eyes aren't irritated right there. And I'm going to keep, make sure I don't lose my lid. And, oh, here's the pencil, the sparkly pencil that I had on my tear duct yesterday. It is called Mint and Olive. It's a very old MAC pencil. Okay. Now a blush. I'm going to use my Oh, She's Different by Patrick Ta. You, you would think it would open... But the whole, that whole thing in the, anyway, it gets me every time. I'm going to use the cream and the powder. And then I <clears throat> set it with the powder. I'm going to do some of my extended play Giga Black on the bottom. And... I'm going to put the black star on the top. So we're watching Wire in the Blood or Blood in the Wire, something like that. I'll put the exact name right here. It's, it's British. I think we found it on Acorn. And it's a little more gory than than most of the other British mysteries, murder mystery stuff we've been watching. And we're watching it just, it's just the default thing. We're watching that much YouTube in, now. We used to have a regular one that we watched every night at dinner. We're not watching that one at all now. I'm going to take my powder brush and my original powder foundation from Bare Minerals. And buff everything out. I only have just a dibby dab of powder. I'm going to put some of the Laura Mercier 
translucent powder underneath my eyes just because it gives such a pretty finish. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amresi to highlight down the, it's like a um, exclamation point. I do it between my eyes and down, and then right here where I do the bronzer the darkest, I skip it, and then do a dot there. that and then on my cheekbones I follow instead of going up on my temple I follow the bone out and I'm still avoiding my lids how about a setting mess I'm going to get a different one since I've gotten this really matte I'm going to take the Tony Molly Luminous Goddess Aura Perfume Face Makeup Mist. Um, hide my hair from it. And my face is a little more luminous in the cent center than I want it. I br brought that back down. So I did finish my book by Eric Larson, Splendid in the Vial, about Churchill. I finished that one, and I started a new one. I think it's called The Wicked Sister. It's pretty good. It's one of those psychological thrillers. You don't know. It's got... You don't know if what the main character is telling you is the truth or not. And, let's see, what else? Okay, so I told you the TV we're watching, the TV series. The book that I'm reading. Oh, yeah, and then I'm reading a Carl Hasen. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put the name right here when I edit. So, I've got two books going. Pat's still reading Anne Rand, Atlas Shrug. Shrugged. I think it's uh, it's a it's a project for him. It's not enjoyable, I don't think. I don't think he's enjoying it. That's some more of the high vibes. I'm going to smudge that out a little bit so it can be more of the walk of shame than the. Yeah, my face is. It's a little more luminous than I intended. Let's back that up a notch. It's warm today. It's a pretty warm day. We took Taco for his walk, but I'm not going on my walk walk because I got stuff to do. So that is using my new Becca, what is it? They like the word Hydra, don't they? Like that, the powder is Hydra Mist, and the lip balm is Hydra Light. Speaking of which, let me see if my Hydra Mist. I got two. Hold on. When I got this pow the Hydra Mist powder, it came with a a, set, a travel size. I'm seeing if the I think the little travel size still has the Hydra in it. So, I guess if you keep the the paper thing on it, it helps keep it Hydra longer. longer. Okay, so that's how I'm using my new, my new products. What did I get? Is that all I got was a lip? Oh yeah, the fingernail polish, which was Hot Rio something. Hot Rio Red. 
which I fouled up when I did my organizing job. Uh, my lip, my high vibes. I didn't, oh here, let's do my hairspray. My new hairspray that I got. Oh yeah, that smells so good. All right. I enjoyed spending this time with you today. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what you've picked up at Ulta recently. And let me know if you are the type person to cancel your plans if somebody asks you for a favor and you already have something scheduled. Let me know these things in the comments and I look forward to the conversation. Y'all have a great evening and I'll see you again tomorrow night. Ta-ta.